My name is Chika Okeke. I'm from Festac Senior College, Festac Town. My name is Hapa Chikazi from Redland Senior Grammar School. I am Moko Bank Fakujai. My name is Obun of Blessing. Yes, a student of Girls Senior High School, Agigi, and an ambassador of Lagos State. <laughs> the changes I've seen due to the ECO project. You know, before, education in Lagos was just like, is something I have to do and because it's something I have to do because my parents want me to do it to go to school but now due to the um, echo project because of the echo project we find out that most students we want to we want to really 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 take our education seriously and it has raised the competitive level in our schools echo project has really changed my life as a student because before now that's before the inception of the echo project in SS1 we sit on bare floor because we had no furniture, no physical infrastructure, our labs were things you can't even write about. And teachers, as she said, teach in abstract, things that you can't see. But now, after the core project, you know, surfing the net for information your teachers can give you would broaden your view about life, would broaden your view about reading. When I was in SS1, I would be frank here. I was a C student in biology. A C student, but when the corporate came in, our teachers went for training. They went for trainings, and now they are. I can boast to any student, any school, wherever they are, that we have some of the best teachers. In fact, the best teachers around. I would give an instance. I will always use my English teacher and biology teacher. She so always speak in abstract. In the last few years, when she comes, she tell the skeleton is this, skeleton is that, and there's no structure for it. But now, when she explains everything, if you bring the skeleton, I'll be able to label the parts for you. And now I'm an A student in biology because you have things that will show you what you are being taught. Our biology child comes to class now with charts. Like when she, the first day she taught us kidney, when we in um, SS1, I was like, how does kidney look like? I don't know. But now I can now view ah. Uh, kidney so this is how it is so it has really helped me most private schools they're not writing um, exams i would bring them back to transfer exams i'll bring them back to public schools so now the private school are even enticed to come to the public school they want to switch and imagine the lagos state schools debate though the private schools were there but the public school emerged as the winner All this happened in the space of one year. The Lagos Echo Project was launched by the Babatindi Rajifashala government on March 16, 2010, as a partnership project between the Lagos State Government and the World Bank. The Lagos Echo Secondary Education Project is complementing the work of the state government. Right now, the state government is spending billions of naira improving the infrastructure of our schools. They're renovating schools, building new schools, bringing in lots of infrastructural development to make life and to make learning much more conducive for the teachers and for the students. So in that way, making the environment conducive, making it comfortable. The government is spending billions of Naira doing that right now. And you know, you, we can see the change as we go to, from one school to the other. Now, what now needs to happen is to ensure that learning is taking place. And that's where Lagos Eco Secondary Education comes in. To support the teachers and the students to learn to teach effectively so that we can start seeing results. And the more results we're seeing, the more that we can say that money that government is putting in education is working. The result has been groundbreaking. Before the intervention of a, a co project, generally students always um, have this idea of not developing interest, enough interest in those core subjects. English, mathematics, and basic science. But with the introduction of this uh, a core project, honestly, this uh, is an intervention that has actually helped to ameliorate a lot of problems. So we purchased materials uh, that made learning more concretized. You know, they saw concrete things. 
you know, in front of the shapes, we purchase the projector and we've been using the projector. We purchase the CD player, which we have been using to teach oral English. We've been using the projector to teach English, maths and biology and it has encouraged attendance. Actually, the ECO project has really done a lot in my life. First, it has helped to remove inferiority complex, like the Lagos State Schools debates. We had private and public schools. Actually, the um, public schools took first and second, which happened to be CMS Grammar School first, and my school, Lagos State Senior Model College. With the, help, uh, with the use of um, CDs, we were able to listen to pronunciation of words, which really has stirred us because in the debate competition, we're also told that you have to pronounce well and you have to make good use of your tenses. I have four children in this school. Two is in GS2, uh, GS3, one in GS2, and one in GSS1. Before the introduction of a core project, the, the two of them have been here, the one in GS3. But after the introduction of the ECO project, with the improvement I saw in them, that was what prompted me to bring the remaining children here. They all have admission into good school. But even without teaching them, they can operate the computer now. Even the one that is not encouraging before, well improved. Life when you to see previous life to one look. Tell it everybody wants it. You hardly differentiate them. See our mom, public uh, private school now. So it it come here. Oh, she share and it did a lot on their life. Oh, she a lot. Let me be say you. Striving for excellence was the main factor, the main objective. In fact, it's enhancing students' performance is our overall objective. So if you're if you're you know improving performance. We need to change our attitudes, change our ways, and strive for excellence. It is when we are striving for excellence that we can start improving performance. Excellence means achieving what you set in your mind that you want to achieve. Something that you set to yourself that you want to do and become the best in it and go to the extra mile in achieving them. To me, excellence means aiming for the greatest heights. That's trying to be the best among because you're not the only person who wants to be the best. So trying your possible best to be the best. Um, in my own simple way, excellence means to achieve and to attain success at any point in time. When you are interested in something, your best can be ascertained. Students that come to school regularly because they want to see all those things. And with that, attendance has improved tremendously. They come to school regularly, they do their assignments, and the performance has been enhanced. It comes logically. And that is the goal of the Lagos State Government because the YA performance over the five years has been very dismal, poor. So they had to come in with this intervention. And it is get, we are getting the dividends already. In fact, you need to see the students that whenever they have these subjects, they are always eager. Why? Because um, what you see, you learn better. Things are not done in abstract these days. I want to use my SS1 experience as um, a kind of pointer. When I first arrived in this school, 2008, I was a secret, I was a credit student in biology. But um, when a couple projects came in, I skyrocketed to <laughs> a distinction student in biology. So I believe that a couple project has made students become better in their subjects. It has made them look at learning as fun, look at it as something that helps them attain their set goals as students. What we're saying is that it is not just about the leaders within the education sector doing well in their work, but it's about the bottom-up approach where every single one of us does a little bit more extra than what we have been doing um, before. It's about people who have been motivated to go the extra mile. 
So you can imagine if every single one of us in the education sector, including the students, all done, we do our little bit. Can you see the, the cumulative effect of that? My name is Lawa Abilikishu, and I won the award for the best student in mathematics in the year 2010. Back those days, I was never interested in mathematics. Then 0 over 20, 2 over 20, my highest was 3 over 20. So when did all that change? They brought some instructional materials like computers, projector, marker board, and so on. Suddenly so maths was interesting? Maths was very interesting with that, but formally, if our maths teacher was in the class, it looked boring, I would just feel like sleeping, I would be distracted because learning was not even convenient for me then. Yeah. So 5Y plus 3Y equals what? 8Y. The intervention, as you are aware, involves training of the teachers. If you train the teachers to a very high level, to international standard, and you expose the teachers to best modern practices, that training of the teachers will impact on the students. And the employers will get the benefit of that training, ultimately. The students will use modern equipment, modern facilities. They'll be conversant with the practices in the industry from the school, from the institution, from the technical colleges. And the employers, again, will appreciate that. We can't continue to blame teachers and the heads that children are failing if we're not providing them the right tools or the right equipment like knowledge, training and so on to be able to do what they're supposed to do. And so there's a lot of emphasis on training, retraining and professional development of our teachers. I think that's very crucial. And what that has done over the last one year or so is that it has really brought out the confidence of the teachers. It has motivated them. They now feel much more empowered. They now know that they have tools within their grasp to be able to take on the challenges of ensuring that our students uh, perform very well. Sometimes interacting with teachers from other countries, I have the opportunity of interacting with some teachers outside neighboring countries, even the Frank Frankfurt. Sometimes I, I felt inadequate. I, I was lost. But after attending most of these seminars and workshops, now I think I can, uh, I can hold up my head. I can now use some of the technology that they have been using for years, and that has really improved my, um, improved my teaching. This room is the e-learning center. It is the district project, uh, sponsored by Eco Project Money at the district level. It is a room where teachers with difficulties in teaching, sub, in teaching subject areas are identified. As soon as such teachers are identified, they liaise with us, we bring them down here, we sensitize them, we browse the internet for them and put them through so that those difficult areas for them to teach in their subject areas are made easy for them. So it is specifically to enhance the resourcefulness of teachers within the district. Even if you take the ECO project now, the little it has done will remain. You cannot take that one away. So even if you take it away, our teachers will still teach because they've already gone for training, they've made the necessary changes. When they teach now, you see the students, but it's as if we are teaching ourselves. We have gone above just doing the ordinary. For example, when we, were got, when we gave money to the schools, we asked the schools to develop a plan of how they intend to spend that money. And we took that very seriously. And the schools as well took that very seriously. That enabled all the schools to spend according to the plan, to prepare themselves, and to also procure things that were relevant to the needs of those schools. This rigorous process has proved to be incredibly effective.
The vision of the Babatunde Raji Fashil administration to revitalize secondary schools has been realized. Mission accomplished. Students are breaking new grounds in subjects where they struggled in the past. The Lagos Eco Project has brought out the best to me because now I have so many counterparts and I want to be the best so we will compete. We will do everything possible to be the best. Formerly my best score was 18. Yes, 18. But now it has improved a lot. Now, there is no practical. There is no practical. Just bring it out. I'm ready. In fact, ask her. She's, she will tell you the fact. I was never an average student. I was always an A student, but this Eco project has helped me to be the best among the best in my school. Now I score 80, 90 percent, and I'm, I'm always called to represent my school anytime, any day. Family, when I was in GS1, I do score 40 percent, um, 50, but now I'm scoring 90, 80, and 70 upwards, so mathematics particularly. Now we are striving for A1, 70 and above, 75 and above, that's just... Everybody within the system has been informed that the more you do well, the more you'll be rewarded. And this is reward time. We have all done extremely well, but there'll be some that will be rewarded. Of course, we're saying well done to everybody for doing well and going the extra mile. But we're also saying, let us reward a small percentage for doing over and above. When that is done, then there is positive reinforcement. There is spirit of the need for others to improve. And we have held the rivalry. Everybody wants to win next time. And so the, the whole project becomes better and more successful. When we look at our governor, it represents ECO itself. Now, when we look at the E, it represents education. The K represents knowledge. The O represents organization. When we look at all this together, it brings about what we are all talking about here. He wants the students, he wants the young generation to be educated. He wants us to grab the knowledge that will help the next generation of Lagosians, and he wants us to be organized.